What's up everyone, my name is Ghost and today we are back with Scene. Uh, I know it's been a while since I've uploaded, I've been kind of busy getting my life together. But we are back today to play Scene Chapter 8 Under the Amnesia. And we've seen that millions of times. Now I have no clue where we even left off. And I'm pretty sure it wasn't an advertisement about Z-Girls, but we'll roll with it. Chapter 8, There Once Was a Friendship. Oh, just gonna move it down a bit. After three months and no contact, Nicole shows up. Hi, ghosty. I know you might still be mad at me, and I understand. But I'm so sorry. See, now as I said in a, I believe it was the first episode, I'm going to be mirroring off, well, this off of how I'd reply to certain situations and certain messages that, you know, you'd get sent. So I'm going to say sorry for what. I want you back, ghosty. That is actually something I'd say about a message. Let me guess. Mike broke up with you. And that's why you're crawling back. You love it when people crawl back to you. No, that's not true. Well, what is it then? Because it's never... Out of friendship. I mean, I do have a point there. <laughs> I'm not gonna say he has a point there, because, yeah. I broke up with Mike. See, I wouldn't say dot dot dot, I'd be like, okay, question mark. I don't care, no, I wouldn't say that. Why? I'd ask why. Because I would be curious, especially if their relationship with each other was going really well. I'm sorry, this amnesia, it's ruined my life. Um, yeah, if a relationship was going well between someone and they broke up, then I would probably ask why. If they didn't want to tell me, that's fine. But I would try and be there with them. Uh, not with them, but for them. I'm sorry, this, this amnesia, it's ruined my life. I can barely remember my childhood memories, and every time I associate myself with something painful from my past, like Mike... All I remember are the screeching tires and blaring horn that night. It's my most vivid memory. I don't remember how many times I've cried about it. And do you know what the worst part? It was a suicide attempt. I try so hard at night to think of what could have happened, uh, which could have pushed me to that extent. My parents are loving. My school is great. My friends are amazing. I know it was a heartbreak, but it wasn't Mike. If I knew it, who it was, I don't think I'd be able to even talk to them. See, in a situation like that, it's hard to, like, know what to say. Because there's millions of things that will be running through someone's mind, you know, if they've dealt with something like that. And every day and night, it might keep them up at night, it might stop them from sleeping, it might stop them from making new friends or furthering their relationships with someone. And I really do feel sorry for anyone who's got like to deal with that. It's, it's a horrible thing. Uh, what was the last thing she said? I know it was a heartbreak, but it wasn't Mike. If I knew who it was, I don't think I'd be able to talk to them. I didn't know. See, so I do try and help people a lot if I can. Um, and I'm always... You know, I, I want to be there for people. So, when it comes to some situations like this, and there's just so much going on, it does take me a bit to reply, because I, I just don't know what to say. It just stumps me sometimes. I didn't know what you was going through. Well, what you're going through. See, 
and I'm here for you and uh, I'm your friend can usually mean the same thing. I'm here for you, I'm your friend, but forgiving someone of the past mistakes they've made, it's... I don't know how to word it, it like... I don't know, but it's a good thing to forgive someone. Because you can't hate someone the rest of your life. I forgive you, Nicole. I shouldn't even have to. I've never waited so long to have a sentence in my life. Okay, I use that emoji a lot. <laughs> I don't know anyone else who can bring me from the verge of tears like that. You're my best friend, girl, so you know that, right? So you never want to go forever and always, because that can really reflect bad. Uh, of course, that that'd be something I'd say. So you, you, it's like in relationships when you oh promise I'll be with you forever, promise I'll never hurt you. You, you can't make a promise like that because if you end up make <laughs> God, no. Um, well, yeah, you can't really make promises like oh I'll be with you forever because you never know what's gonna happen. Like, I, I used to be the sort of person that I'm like, yeah, promise, we'll stay together forever. And then something had happened, and it's like, why did I promise that? But, yeah, I'm getting way off track here. So do you still want to go buy that new cotton doing all night at my place? Uh, hell yeah. Where's that option? Okay, you can count on it, that's close enough. If anyone asked me to do an all-nighter at their place, or just an all-nighter over Skype or something, for... Like Call of Duty, Borderlands, anything like that, I'd, I'd be down. End of chapter 8. There once was a friendship. We'll do chapter 9. Uh, I said chapter 9, not Art uh, of Conquest. Where's the. Where's... I think I made me move everything. Fucking have a time. I don't know how many chapters are left of this, but we might finish it off today. Chapter 9, the letter. May 1st, 2020. It's been three weeks since you've made up. You have spoken to each other every single day. Hey, ghosty. Hey. Hey. How you doing? Just move out of there. How are you? Jesus, what happened to my voice? I'm fine. Oh, he's been fine. No, not worry about the day. No, 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 no worry, no worry, no. Pinch, punch, first day of the month, by the way. What? You, you, you are, like, chatting some voodoo magic. You're so childish. Damn right, I'm childish. It's me. How are you? Why would you ever want to grow up? I'm good. I'm a bit spooked, though. What? Oh, I can feel the sneeze coming on. Either, like, I've just can't stop sneezing, or I've got hair fever. It's like, this is why I don't go out. I was at my old house just revisiting when I noticed... Oh, fuck! I've got a sneeze stuck in my nose! Oh, <laughs> fuck off. I was at my old house just revisiting when I noticed something white on the floorboards. Was it Mum's daughter? I mean, what? Oh, no, are you gonna try and scare me? Ghost! Now isn't the time for, like, ghost jokes when your name is Ghost. Like, you don't, alright? Just, 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 just stab it. You know I'm undefeatable, like last week. When you came over to my house and tried to scare me, but I ended up scaring you. Ha ha ha. Can I type any fucking slower? It's not how I type in real life. I type real fast. No, no, it's not that. It's a letter from five years ago. Go on. Go on. Oh my god. A guy called Jake R Reichel? Right, Rachel? Ah, uh, how the f. A new Pokemon confirmed, Rachel. 
Do you know him? I don't think so. Ah, me like. Ah, what the fuck? Help. Ugh. And the weird bit is that I know this name. It means something to me. This sheer uh, fuck buddy from two years ago. What's the letter about? It's about my accident. Uh oh. <laughs> he talks about how he read about my accident and how he was so sorry and how he missed me so much and wanted his best friend back. His name has been circulating, I almost said that wrong, around my head for ages. This letter cleared it up for me. He left his number and address, but it's different people now. I searched Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. What the fuck is that? Me banger. Me bang at. All the social medias, but I found nothing. You know, I might need to search that up afterwards. <laughs> See what the fuck that is. Do you think that this could have been the one that made me attempt suicide? Maybe. It's always a possibility. <laughs> uh, the most unlikely people end up being absolute cunts. He sounds like he was your best friend. What gives you that impression, Ghost? Not your lover. Oh, he's not your lover. <laughs> Feels a lot for anyone who watches this video. What if I loved him and he didn't know? What if I was torturing myself about him to the point of suicide? Wouldn't you feel it? Like, if you loved someone and you was torturing yourself about it, first off, that's a bit bad to do yourself. And also, wouldn't you feel it? Oh, come on. Is there, like, an option to type faster? Wouldn't you be able to feel it? If he was close to see your suicide, wouldn't you remember him? You're right! Da -da 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 -da. I'm right about something. I'm going to leave it, and if he ever pops up again, I'll look into it. Good idea. Da, that's a good idea, yeah? <laughs> So, to all you COD players out there, uh, alright, I'm still at my old house and my data is running out, so we'll talk later. Bye, Ghosty. Uh, before I continue, um, I want to know how many of you actually play Call of Duty. And Call of Duty Black Ops 3, today, uh, at 5 o'clock this morning, I should know as I was awake, go me, Zombies Chronicles was released. Um... Now, I don't know about you, but I have absolutely loved playing the old maps again. Like, the maps that I used to play in World at War when I was young. Uh, like, Natch and Totten, The Rook, Chino Numa, The Giant, well, The Reese was already on there. But, there was, there's also some maps on there I never really got to play, like Ascension, Shangri-La. Um, I never really got to play those. So, I am really excited. So, let me know in the comments below... What your favourite zombie map is, from Chronicles or Black Ops 3. And let me know if you have Zombies Chronicles, and if you are going to be playing that like you have no life. Because that's what I'm going to be doing, right after I'm done recording this. So if I want to do YouTube properly, then I kind of need to have a better upload schedule than just, ah, oh, do it tomorrow, I'll do it tomorrow, alright, fuck it, I'll do it today. Uh, alright, yeah, I went off and... Take care, Nicole. And this should be end of chapter. <laughs> end of chapter nine. What the fuck is this? What? No, no. What the hell? No, you're drowning him, poor guy. Fucking advertisements. Chapter ten. Take care. I don't know about you, but it sounds like the last chapter. Did you know me before my uh, car crash? Right. If you ever get this question and you knew them. You need to be honest with them. You can't you can't lie to someone about this. So I'ma be hundred percent truthful. I knew it. The way you are, the way you look at me. Oh fucking no. So what was I to you? Associate friend? Best friend? Ooh what what best friend? I think, I think that's what it was, like, near the beginning of, um, like, chapter one, chapter two. 
Thank God, I don't know. You're putting too much pressure on me. Leave me alone. I've been meaning to tell you. I... What? <laughs> I just didn't know... When to. Oh, that was a beautiful crack. Woo! Makes sense. Our connection is so strong. Oh, God. Oh, man. What's wrong? You you seem disappointed. One game I do want to play. Oh, this is fuck me. Ah. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I need to get more sleep. Um, yeah. Uh, what I was meant to say is something I do want to record on the channel is a game called Emily is Away. Since Emily is Away 2 just recently came out. So I want to try and do that on the channel, so I'll see what I can do. It's just, you're an essential part of me now. I don't know what I could do without you. Woo! My stomach's itching. Woo! You don't have to think of that. I'm not going anywhere, Nick. Don't let go, John. Oh. You're not, but I am. What? Oh, I'm off to bed. <sighs> Were you a love interest to me before the accident? Fuck you, I can move her. What do you mean? What, what, what time is it? Uh, it? It's 20 minutes past 3. Right. PM. Did you love me or did I love you? Calm down. Man, I think I'm getting a block now as well. I was in love. <laughs> I was in love with you. Oh God. Yeah, that's a normal reaction I get in real life. <laughs> you always know what to say, Ghosty, but not everyone's perfect, I guess. You don't always know how to make me smile. Now that's something I get told a lot. Nicole, what are you on about? Oh god. You don't understand, do you? You're adorable. I'll stop it. I love you. I loved you. What? That's great! Oh. What are you on about? I do too. Oh boy, here we go again. <sighs> Fuck. We can't. I, I can't. Why not? What's a wrong? <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> oh god. I feel like shit. Ugh. Why is it always summertime I get ill? You're the one that made me into. Oh! Shit. Now that's something I've never heard before. You're the one that made me attempt suicide. I'm sorry, but it's too painful for me to live with that knowledge. As much as I love you, I can't. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I no longer know who I am under the amnesia. You're making me cry. This is ridiculous, Nicole. Yet, yeah, that like would probably break someone's heart hearing that. That you're making them cry, and you're, you're the reason that they attempted to kill themselves. That would be... Oh, that'd be heartbreaking. I hope I never hear that in my life. One more thing. Can you do me one more thing? This is dumb. Can you do me one more thing, Ghosty? I'm not losing you again. What are you gonna do, Nicole? Uh, I know this is like... Actually, no, I'll, I'll leave it till the end of the video. Can you do me one more Fuck's sake? One more thing. What is it? Oh, what me? Tell me why you always say take care. 
What? I just do. I hate it when someone's like, why do you always say, like... Oh, what is it? Well, what's the main thing I get asked why I say? Uh... Being spammed with invites on Xbox, I know. Uh, yeah. So something I get asked sometimes is, "Tell me why you always say, like, sleep well or something ridiculous like that." So I say it, cause I say it. Fam, leave me alone. The real reason, Ghosty. Fine then. It's because I want you to take care of yourself. Selfed. <laughs> No, John, bad time. John, no, bad time. You've been neglected too much. Fucking John, I swear I told it not to interrupt me. Evidently fucking not. You've been used. A girl like you does deserves more. It's it's because you didn't take right, you know, I'm I'm gonna have to I'm going to have to pause the recording, but I will be back soon. Did that pause? I'm going to say that pause. It's because you didn't take care when you threw yourself in front of a car. In my goddamn name. Because I want you to take care of yourself. Ah, me fault. What the fuck? Fine then. It's because I want you to take care of yourself. You've been neglected too much. You've been used. A girl like you deserves more. It's because you didn't take care when you threw yourself in front of a car in my goddamn name. It's because I want you to take care of yourself, Nicole. It's because I love you. I love Nicole Tyler. Right, you know, whilst like the message is typing out, I'm not gonna try and read it because that's just get that just gets annoying. It's because I love you. I love Nicole Tyler. I love the girl under the amnesia. He said it. Roll credits. I love you too, Ghosty, but it's too much for me to stay in contact with you. I can't, Ghosty. I was reading that. Cunt. Oh boy, Pokemon Go! Fuck off. Chapter 11, Life. Sucks. But, you are talking to a stranger. Five years have passed. I am talking to a stranger, probably. You at talking to Laura Mitz. Hello? What? What is this? Hello. This is Laura Motts. From work, right? Or do I have the wrong number? Hey, I'm psychic! Yeah, I'm gonna uh, reply to that soon. You've got the right number. How are you doing, Ghosty? I shouldn't have called myself Ghosty. <laughs> great, I'm doing great. Right, uh, so what I'm getting from this, we are talking to someone from work, so this might be, well it did say five years later, so I'm guessing uh, we are in the future, I guess, not the entire future, but you get what I mean. Anyway, we are going to leave this episode here, no we're fucking not, go away. So it's literally just called a stranger now. Anyway. My oh, fucking Snapchat go away. My name is Bean Ghost Eats. I hope you I hope you have enjoyed this video. Um I have been putting off doing a video for a long time now, and I am sorry for the ones that, you know, watch every video as soon as it comes out and are waiting for the new videos to come out. Um I know I've got a pretty shit upload schedule, but 
I, I will try and get it back on, well not back on track, but get it better. Uh, I do stream most days, so if you haven't followed me on Beam, um, my Beam is, a, I believe it's Ghost Heats 599. Um, let me just that to check that real quick. Yeah, Beam. Oh, Mixer, sorry. But yeah, my Mixer is, when it loads, Ghost underscore Heats 599. There you have it. Um, this has been Ghost Eats. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Comment down below uh, what your favourite zombie map is. Um, and if you are excited for Zombies Chronicles. And if you have it already and you are playing it. But yeah, this has been Ghost Eats. And... Everyone stop calling me! This has been Ghost Eats. And thanks for watching.